it's time to hurt Arkansas. All right, guys, I am headed out with my buddy Calvin. Uh, we're taking separate cars, you know, staying six feet apart, all that. And uh, we're going to look for milk snakes here in Arkansas. I'm super excited. This is a new state for me. To me, there's nothing more exciting than going to a new state. Uh, I'm running out of new states to go to, but each time I get to go to a new place, it's like, it's just that there's so many possibilities, so many options. It's so exciting to me. So anyways, we're going to go flip for milks, and then it's supposed to actually get pretty hot today, like up to 80, um, which is definitely too hot for milk snake flipping when it's bright and sunny outside like it's going to be today. So we might end up changing strategies a little later in the day, maybe look for rattlesnakes or uh, some of the salamander species that live out here that I've never seen. So anyways, I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to hit the field. So we got a little bit of a drive, maybe about 45 minutes, and then uh, hopefully I will be checking in with you guys soon. So this first spot only has a couple rocks, but the first rock I flipped, first snake of the day, a little prairie Mississippi integrated ring neck. In shed, unfortunately, but you can see how colorful this guy is. Hopefully we'll see some that aren't in shed today. But first snake of the day, first snake in Arkansas. Oh, oh nice. I thought that was a speckled king yeah. at first. <laughs> Dude, that's weird. Are these Southern blacks? No, yeah, they should be. <laughs> That's so strange. He's got like the smallest bit yeah. of yellow belly in him or something. Definitely different looking. All right, guys. Well, this little racer shed his skin and he's looking mighty good. Uh, according to Calvin, there are Southern black racers here, but this guy looks very different from the baby racers in Georgia. That's for sure. But he's cold. So I'm going to put him back under his rock and keep flipping. See what else we can turn up. Oh man, that's nice. So we were debating even trying to flip this rock. We flipped it. I didn't even notice it first. A million ring necks <laughs> and my first Arkansas milk snake right there. Well guys, there we go. Arkansas red milk snake under like the fifth rock of the day. So many snakes right here at this first stop. I'm so excited for the rest of the day now. Hopefully it continues at this pace. We're gonna put this guy back under his rock. He's not really too much to look at. He's not bad looking, but he needs a shed. I'm sure he'd be a much better looking snake after a shed. So I'm just gonna photograph him real quick and we're gonna put him back. Well, here is one last look at my first Arkansas milk snake before I put him back under his rock. Pretty cool. A little bit dingy, but definitely cool. We're gonna put this guy back and hope for a better one. There are going to be a lot of ring necks over the next couple of days, so I hope you guys like them. All right, guys, here's a look at the habitat we're dealing with today. Sorry, I'm eating breakfast, but I'm excited. Super excited. All right, this is an incredible looking rock. I'm just hoping I can actually flip it on camera. I can. There's nothing under it. That sucks. All right, guys, there we go. Second milk of the day as flipped. A crusty adult, deep in shed. But it's a milk snake. Well, there it is. Second milk of the day. I've only seen two snakes since we left that first cut. One ring neck and uh, this guy, big male. I'm sure he would probably be a pretty nice snake out of shed, but as of now, I don't have, don't have much to look at here. So I'm gonna put him back under his rock. All right, bud. Maybe I'll see you again one day when you're looking a little uh, better. Go on. There you go. rock oh ring neck first one of those I've seen in a while so since the first spot we've hit today this is the third snake two ring necks and one milk all right I'd like to think I'm getting better at telling which ones of these rocks look good oh yep there oh my god Oh, I did not see that at first. Dude, double flip. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a good rock. Look at that. Third milk snake of the day, and it's a good one. 
This is the smallest. I had no idea baby milk snakes were this small. I've never seen a baby milk snake, I don't think. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe not quite so minuscule, but beautiful milk snake. Red on the head, clean, even bands. Pretty high band count though, but dang, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, he's grumpy. Look at that. So cute. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how pretty this thing is. I also can't believe how tiny he is. So, oh my god, wow. The attitude. Unbelievable. Alright, I'm going to photograph you and put you back under your rock. Well, despite how beautiful you are, I'm going to photograph you a little bit more and put him back under his rock. And hopefully we'll be able to turn up more three milks though today. That is, uh, I mean, it's exactly what I was hoping for. So hopefully we can keep it going. The attitude is impressive. What a beautiful snake. And so tiny. All right, buddy. There's another ring neck in C2. Man, some of these are some truly stunning little ring necks. Look at that orange tail. Beautiful. Alright, this is a really nice looking flat rock if I can get the stuff out of the way to flip it. Nothing. Ants. That was a good rock. Four ring necks. Look at that one. Really light. Came for the milks. Stayed for the fistful of snakes. I don't care what they are, finding this many snakes is always awesome. All right, buds, sorry I disturbed you, but I had to pick them up to get their rock back down. That looks like a good one. Right. Dang it, that shit had a milk. Well, that's not something I was expecting to see flipping rocks in Arkansas. A pickerel frog. One of the more difficult to find ranids back home in Georgia. But I managed to snag this guy under a rock, so I'm just gonna put him back. Oop, oop. I already flipped this, so I know what's under it, but uh, was not expecting it at all. Milk snake number four for the day. I missed the flip clip because that was kind of like a random rock that I was really not expecting to have anything under it. But sure enough, there we are, milk number four, another very deep in shed snake, unfortunately. Uh, only one of the four today has been out of shed so far. One thing that is very cool about this snake is he was found right here next to this burnt pine forest. Uh, just to show you that controlled burns are also beneficial for the western milk snakes too. Not just the ones in Georgia. Still pretty good milk snake habitat. Um, I wasn't actually expecting to see a milk snake here, not because it was burned, but because there's just not a lot of rock. But the rock there is, sure enough. Well, milk number four for the day. I will take it. Nope, nope, your rock is right there. There you go. Well, I will say I've gotten better at recognizing the milk snake rocks, but I'm still not good at it. This looks like some really nice habitat coming up if it isn't all soaking wet. Really good looking rocks. At least they look good from the road. Oh, snakes are here. Little ring neck. First one of those I've seen in a minute. So I haven't found anything at this spot yet. Take a look at these rocks I'm pulling. They're so perfect. And it's got to be a matter of time before I get a milk here. Look at this. Mm. Look at that. Even the rocks I'm standing on top of flip. Look at that, dude. It's still cool underneath. Perfect. I am legit having a hard time comprehending how I have not found 
more snakes here. Finally, another snake. Yet another ring neck. Milk snake food. But where are the milk snakes? Not there, that's for sure. I don't want to kill too much time here if it's not a good spot. But like, it just looks so good. I'm having a real hard time pulling myself away from it. This is definitely getting annoying. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one too. I can't tell if he's in shed or what, but look at that. Milk snake number five. That was such a perfect little rock too. I'm glad I actually recorded that, but I've recorded like 20 rocks just like that here and did not actually get one. So despite looking a little bit better than the other ones, he actually is in shed and he's missing an eyeball. Look at that. Isn't that gnarly? It's just not there. Definitely a decent looking snake though overall. I, I didn't even think he was in shed at first. I thought he was just weird looking, but really very different than all the other ones I've seen so far today. So this looks like a little female to me and you can assume that this is an adult based on the fact that it has this super gnarly well-heeled wound. I guess these are just tiny milk snakes. I mean, that's about half the girth of the big one from Alabama and a little bit shorter, but that's wild. Either way, milk snake number five, I'm having a blast. And look at all this, I haven't flipped any of that yet. I think this one's a pretty strong contender for my favorite milk of the day so far. It's definitely between this guy and that little one, uh, mostly just because He's so nice, even though he's in shed. I mean, he really is a pretty snake. Uh, definitely more subtly colored than uh, the one from Alabama, obviously. But still, I think this would be an absolutely drop-dead gorgeous snake freshly shed. And I'd love to see it freshly shed one day. Maybe uh, if I return to this area, I could turn him up again. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to put this guy back and see if I can turn up any milks. I'm really glad we found this guy. And I'm glad this habitat that I thought was looking so good finally produced. And I got it on camera. So, awesome. If you'll notice, this rock that this guy was under is very similar up there, bud. Dang it. <laughs> it's very similar to the rock the Alabama snake was under. <laughs> they really like these flat rock on rock situations. There you go. I'm guessing the one in Alabama had a hole underneath his rock that you couldn't see that he went into. Um, and I'm assuming this guy probably does too, so I'm going to flip this again and see if he's still there. I don't know. Maybe he's just stuck there. So yeah, like I said, still got a lot of good looking rocks here. He was under that one. I have not touched any of this yet. It's nice to actually be able to record myself flipping rocks and get flip clips because normally when I'm in Georgia or even in Alabama, I mean, I'm flipping so many rocks with nothing under them. It's just not feasible. But it's just not feasible for me to record while I'm doing it. And a lot of them are bigger rocks too that, you know, if, if I'm not on my game and I drop, they could hurt the snake that uh, may or may not be under there. So I have to be ready to deal with that. So I couldn't record myself flipping it because it's so big, but I flipped that rock and I was not surprised to see this because that is a perfect rock. And uh, there we go, milk snake number six for the day. And the first adult that is perfect and not in shed. Beautiful. Look at that. Cool to the touch. It's not too hot under that nice thick rock. And uh, there you go, milk snake number six. I think this is number six, I might be losing count. Kind of a dirty snake, honestly. The, uh, the colors aren't terribly vibrant, but it's a nice, I, I like the look of it for sure. He's got almost a solid white belly, which is interesting. Uh, this is a this is a male snake. Generally, when you catch a milk snake and it doesn't bite you, it's a, a male. If it bites you, it's a female. Um, but you can look at the tail and tell that this guy's a male. But absolutely beautiful. All right, here's one more look at snake number, is this six or seven? I can't remember, I'm gonna have to go back and count. Um, but yeah. <laughs> He actually looks pretty good from this angle. Definitely a good looking snake either way, even though he might be the uh, 
probably the most boring snake of the day. Uh, the fact that he's out of shed makes him a lot prettier than a lot of the others, though. So after a double check, this is milk snake number six, about to put him back under his rock. There you go, buddy. I try to record myself flipping all this. Definitely need to invest in a GoPro. Oh, nice double ring neck. Man, that one is beautiful. That gray is cool. Well, that was probably my favorite stop of the day since the first spot, at least. That was the first stop to have two milks and it was natural habitat, which is awesome. Anyways, it's getting really hot. If you can't tell, I'm sweating profusely. Well, I just found a DOR speckled king, which sucks, but new little patch of habitat looks pretty good. Well, I accidentally just tripped over a really tiny rock and out from under it flew this guy, second racer of the day. This one looks a little more typical of a Southern black. Um, doesn't have that weird coloration and pattern going on in the face, but pretty cool. Only the uh, third species of snake for the day. I think we've just seen milks, ring necks and racers. And no sooner had I said that, I flipped this gigantic rock and underneath it is this guy. This is our fourth species of snake for the day and a slightly familiar face. This is either a Western or a Midwestern worm snake. Definitely noticeably different from the ones back home. These guys can get absolutely beautiful out West. So I'm hoping we'll be able to turn up uh, at least a couple more of these guys. All right, guys, here's one more look at this worm snake before I let him go. I'm assuming we'll probably see more throughout the course of the trip, but just in case, here's one more look at this guy. Pretty cool, nice to uh, add to the diversity of the day. So at this point, I'm high enough in elevation, the trees aren't even fully leafed out yet. Check that out. It's like I traveled a month back in time from Georgia. That's a first for the day. And he is definitely gonna be a little hot, but that is an Eastern garter snake, I think. I don't think there would be any other garter snakes here. Wow, wow, bro, wow. Relax, dude, chill. You're mighty cute. I mean, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> well, nice addition to the species list. I'm just gonna grab a couple of cell phone photos. Oh, then I'm gonna put him back under his rock before he actually has an aneurysm. Well, we're finally getting a little drifting cloud cover, but here's another ring neck, of course. Easily the most common snake of the day. Just a little prairie lizard. I'm assuming they're prairie lizards this far west. But that is a nice looking rock. Looks nice and thick. Look at this guy. Definitely looks different than our eastern fence lizards, that's for sure. All right, let's check this. Nice, a ring neck. First one of those I've seen in a while, yet again. Getting ready to shed. This guy could not care less about me sitting here. Whoop! <laughs> there he goes. You gotta be kidding me. I went to flip this big rock, flip the tiny one off of it so that I could flip it, and there's a freaking milk snake. Oh my god. That thing is beautiful. That's the best one of the day. Look at that. Holy crap. Let's flip this, uh, Bigger rock real quick. Oh my God. New county for me. New spot too. What on earth? That is unreal. Why are they so tiny? I could never imagine they'd be so small. I'm guessing they just have small babies, but I mean, this thing's a year old at least. Not even a hatchling. Oh. <laughs> trying to make an escape while I'm trying to be cinematic here. I'm almost done with you, buddy. I just wanted to get a little bit more video to show everybody. This is, I'd say, hands down the nicest milk of the day so far, or the most colorful at least. Honestly, a just absolutely stunning little snake. I could not believe that he was under that tiny little rock in the middle. It was so hot underneath too. 
It was like he was just throwing that back end out to get a little bit of warmth on his butt or something. But wow, seven milk snakes. All right, little guy, whoa. Easy, there you go. Stay safe, bud. That was next snake of the day, another little garter snake. Check that out. It's a coal skink. I was hoping I'd see one of these guys today. I know they're pretty common in Arkansas, but I do not see a lot of these guys back home, that's for sure. Uh, only one in Georgia ever, actually. I've seen a couple in Texas, and that's it. So that is pretty cool. This is a baby, unfortunately. I'm going to let this guy go and just hope we see an adult later in the trip to get more photos and video of. But interesting find, nonetheless. This is getting to the point where I'm just going to have to stop stopping or I'm never going to get to Oklahoma tonight, which is my original plan. Let's go! Speckled King. <sighs> Look at that. Yes, beautiful. Not as nice as the dead one I found, but oh my goodness, that's cool. So the DOR Speckled King I found was a beautiful adult. This guy is last year's baby. Uh, same age as the baby milk snakes we've been finding, presumably. But check that out. Beautiful. Uh, obviously doesn't have much to offer when compared to the Alabama snakes, but still a beautiful little speckled king. And if we could find a nice adult, I'd be willing to bet that they're pretty stunning around here. So I'm going to let this guy go and keep flipping. Uh, I guess I'll just get to Oklahoma when I get to Oklahoma, because as long as I'm finding snakes, I'm not going to be able to stop. And in case you haven't noticed, look at these gnats. I've decided I like Arkansas a lot. All right, buddy, under your rock, right here by the road. Little ding dong, there you go. Stay out of the road, preferably. Not gonna lie, the milk snakes were getting a little monotonous, but now I'm ready for another one after a nice speckled king snake interlude. Well, I'd call day two of the trip a success. I am currently in eastern Oklahoma, driving towards my buddy Aaron's place where I'm going to be staying for the next couple days. I'm going to be spending the next couple days in Oklahoma and Kansas uh, doing more of what I did today, rock flipping, looking for milk snakes, uh, just about anything else I can find. So, uh, looking forward to seeing tons more snakes over the next couple days. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and if you liked it, there's plenty more coming, so stay tuned. Arkansas, I love you. I'll be back. Shout out to the Arkansas viewers.